Welcome back to Plot Hole Productions. I'm your host, Nate Slater, and this is State of the PC Magazine Edition. So, we've gone through the Universal Label, the Yellow Label Signature Series. Now we're going to go through my magazine collection, which isn't very many, so I figured we'd just do this separate. It's a mix of Signature Series and Blue Label, you know, Universal, but it's not that much, so without further ado, let's get into it. So first we have in my PC, we have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, number two from Mirage Studios, second printing and a 9.2. And I believe this case is cracked. Yeah, this is a cracked case, but I plan on getting it resubmitted to CGC, pressed and cleaned. Because I actually had uh, issue four cracked, pressed and cleaned, and it went from the... From an 8.0 to a 9.4 when I got it signed by Kevin Eastman. And once again, I had that signed by uh, Comic Core Promotions. I swear by his uh, pressing, pressing and cleaning, so check him out. Next, if I can put the bag back on, we have the only other blue label in my collection, which is... Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number three from Mirage Studios and a 9-2. And this is another one that I'm going to get cracked, pressed, and resubmitted. Um, I looked at the grader's notes on both these books, and they both seem they have, like, probably could get bumps to a 9-4 to a 9-6 maybe just because of the defects like fingerprints. Um, yeah, so next we have... The one I was talking about. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number four from Mirage Studios and a 9-4 signed by Kevin Eastman. And it's signed by him right here in gold. I actually really like this cover. This cover was actually on, I think, the original Ninja Turtles game for regular Nintendo and PC at the time. And, um, yeah, this is the one that was an 8-0 all the way to a 9-4. That's a huge difference. Next, we have, let's see, why did I throw it down there? I threw the bag down there. Oh, well, it can stay there. Anyway, we have comics, yeah, comics, <laughs> comics journal 85, uh, Fantagraphics books, and a 7-0. This is the first preview, first preview, first of Spider-Man's Black Costume and Newswatch section predates Secret Wars 8. Now, I am a big Black Suit Spider-Man fan, so I had to have this. In fact, I have, I think, every single Black Suit pre-appearance all the way up to its actual appearance. Not all of them are graded, but actually now I believe I own all of it. So... Eventually, when the people go to CGC, I'll get them to sign it, and I'll get a grade. All right, next we have Guide to Smart Collecting, number one. No publisher, publisher listed, no date, but this is Reggie Collects. I just had to have it. He's a cool influencer and very passionate about the hobby, and it's uh, signed by... Uh, what was it? Uh, obviously, uh, Reggie and Doug, his partner in crime. I was like, you know what? This is his first thing. I got to support him, and I have to get it signed. So why not? It was a hundred bucks. I'm not gonna argue with that. A hundred dollars. First of its kind. Why not? Next, getting into more of my favorites. Getting into. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the last run in marketing ash can. No number. In the 9-8, signed by Kevin Eastman. I also had this pressing cleaned by uh, Comic Core Promotions. So, yeah, this is very hard to get in a 9-8. I am very proud that I got a 9-8. Also, you can see the cool pink signature right there. From Kevin Eastman, the legend. Next, 
Let's see if you can guess what's next. What's next is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles the last run number one, signed by all six creators of this book. No, oh, minus the seventh, which is Peter Laird, but uh, signed by Ben Bishop, Luis Antonio Delgado, Kevin Eastman, Isa Escorza, Isaac Escorza, and Tom Waltz. That is six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, seven? No, six. Six. All six right here. And the custom label, which is awesome. And I'm sure Kevin Eastman will be back to do more signings at CGC, so I'll be prepared because I got the two books there. Ready to go. N next, we have The Last Ronin, number one, signed by Kevin Eastman. And this is the 1 in 10 variant. In a 9-8. I had to have the whole collection. You got to catch them all, right? And next, we have more Last Ronin, which is also number one. This is the one in, I think it was one in 25 or one in 50. And it's uh, Incentive B, signed by Kevin Eastman also, which is down here. I like that. And a 9-8. Next. I bet it's more Last Ronin. If you guessed right that it was, then you're right. And it is Last Ronin number one. The second printing and thank you edition in a 9-8 signed by Kevin Eastman. I actually really like this cover. I like the normal cover, but this, the foil, red foil just makes it pop. It's just, take another look at it. I like it. I like it a lot. Um. I'll leave that there. Next, we have more Last Ronin. Last Ronin, number five, Retailer Incentive Edition. This is the one in 10, and it's signed by the whole gang and a 9 8. And because this book was new, they, for some reason, CGC wouldn't let me get the custom label, which sucks, but still, I got them all to sign it. Nine eight. All right. Next we have. All right, we have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Last Ronin, number one, uh, signed by Kevin Eastman. This is the convention edition for number one, which is his cover, which I have to have in the collection because you know Kevin Eastman, his cover is his book, it's his baby. Gotta have it. And then next we have another good one. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Last Ronin number two convention edition and a 9-9 signed by everybody with a custom label. That's just so cool. Actually, I wasn't sure if I was going to keep this or not, but one of our subscribers, uh, L Green Machine, said I should keep it for a rainy day. And you know what? I am going to keep it. I don't know if I'm going to keep it for a rainy day. I might just hold on to it forever until I die. But you never know. Next, we have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Last Ronin, number three, convention edition, signed by the whole gang, and a 9-8 with that custom label. Bam. So technically, I have, what, the first three issues, convention editions, and a 9-8. And I think I have the other convention editions, like, I think 4 and 5, I think there is one. I have them. Maybe? I can't remember. My my brain's going. We're at the end of the video, folks. One more left. But yeah, if I do have those, I'm going to send them in next time. This was a lot of money. Next we have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Last Ronin, signed by Kevin Eastman. This is Frankie Comics B Edition. In a 9-9. Nine, nine. Bam. And this one's a keeper. Anything that's a 9-9, nine, nine, that's I'm a big fan of. I'm going to keep. Also, you know, had Kevin sign here. 
in pink, and it's also a Peach Momoko cover. Now, if this would have been a 9.8, I probably would have resubmitted it for the Peach Momoko signing, but yeah, I, I, I just like, yeah, I don't want to risk it. You know, CGC is a little funny. Anyway, now that that's done, we went through the whole stack of my magazine PC. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you thought down below. Leave a comment. Once again, if you haven't, please subscribe and uh, leave a little like there. Um, I'll probably do another one of these videos down the line. More than likely, it will be next year. Don't know. It depends on what I end up putting out. Also, N8 underscore Plot Hole Pro. Check it out. Any books you buy from there, go back into uh, the pot, and then we send more books off to CDC. Now we're at the real end of the video, so you know what that means. I'll see you in the void. <laughs>